We'll now connect a photodiode sensor used for measuring low average powers. We again first set the sensor parameters. Measuring power, exposure, or fast power. We'll start with power. Range, note the DBM option, relevant in telecom and similar fiber applications at the sort of low powers for which these sensors are commonly used. Laser, meaning wavelength. Because their spectral response is not flat, these sensors are calibrated with a full spectral curve covering their defined spectral range. The drop-down window displays a number of default favorite wavelengths you can choose from. If the wavelength you need is not one of the displayed favorites, you can select any of the favorites, or none, then tap on the edit icon and change the currently selected wavelength to any other wavelength in the specified range by keying in the value in the dialog. After all, all wavelengths in the range are in there. You can use this to set up a favorite wavelength list to suit your needs. Any changes made here are automatically saved to the sensor's memory, so they'll move with the sensor if you change instruments. Filter in, out. For sensors such as this one that have a removable attenuating filter, this is how you let the Centauri know whether the filter is in or out. Exposure. This measures total accumulated energy over a measurement period. We can choose between either manual start-stop or stop after a preset timeout. Fast power is a power measurement, but with the instrument sampling the sensor signal at 10 kilohertz. This is useful, for example, in applications that involve a modulated beam, flicker measurements of LED light sources, or generally measuring a beam whose power is changing rapidly over time. This high-speed sampling feature is normally used in conjunction with logging and analysis. To learn more, please visit our website or contact Ophir directly.